Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 37 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four tables. We used to call these input-output tables, uh, but now we use a little bit uh, more advanced language. We actually have equations, and this happens to be an additive relationship. We're doing something to these variables because we're adding 10.1 or 10 and 1 tenths. So remember, when we're looking at our variables, Q here, that's where we're starting. So that's our independent variable. So our independent variable is where you start, something gets done to that, and you end up with your answer. Or in this case, we end up with our dependent variable. So this variable R depends on what we do to Q. And in this case, we're adding, so that's our additive relationship. But which of these tables actually matches this? Well, we're going to start over here with A, and we're just going to write R equals Q plus 10.1. And what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in these numbers. So make sure, even though it says R first in our table, it says Q first. So make sure we pull the correct one. So R, this first one, is going to be 50.5 equals Q is 5 plus 10.1. And does that work? Well, let's kind of collapse this a little bit here. 5 plus 10.1, that's going to be 15.1, and 15.1 definitely does not equal 50.5. So it doesn't look like it is going to be A, and that's really what we need to do here. So we need to just plug these in. So let's write this again. R equals Q plus 10.1. And our first R is 15.1. So 15.1 equals, first Q is 5 plus 10.1. Well, we've already figured out that 5 plus 10.1, that does equal 15.1. So that looks like that checks out. Let's look at our next one. 17.1 equals, our second Q is 7 plus 10.1. 7 and 10.1, that makes 17.1, so this definitely checks out. So the first two are good. Let's pause right there. I'm thinking B is going to be it, because we've got at least the first two. Let's see what happens with C and D. So we're going to rewrite our equation again, so we know exactly where we're putting things. R, let's see, equals Q plus 10.1. So there's my Q right there. So my first R is going to be 10.6 equals, my Q is 5 plus 10.1. Oh, this is so close. Look, this, if this were 0.5, that would work. So they're just adding 5 to the wrong spot. So this still makes 15.1, but you see how if you added this to the tenths, you could get your 10.6. So this does not equal, definitely not C. And finally, let's take a look. R equals Q plus 10.1. Let's look at D. Don't think it's it, because I think B is my answer. But we do have a 15, so that's looking pretty good here. So let's look at R equals 10. So I've got 15.1 equals, my Q is 5 plus 10.1, 5 plus 10.1, that's going to equal 15.1, so ooh, look at that, it does work. That's why we go to the second one, let's see if the second one works, 15.3 equals, my Q is now 7 plus 10.1, nope, 10.1 plus 7 is 17.1, so this is where you get that wrong, so they just added the wrong Q. So D is definitely not it. We can do one more just to make sure this works over here. 19.1 equals 9 plus 10.1. Yep, that equals 19.1. Our answer is B.